Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I'm here today to do my June favorites, things that brought me some peace, some pleasure, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't think there's going to be any noise outside today, any construction noise, but perhaps we're going to have lawnmowers. I don't know. The first thing that made my month is I found my wedding ring. At the end of December, I lost my wedding ring. I knew that it was in the house someplace because when I wash my hands, not every time, but at least once a day, I take my ring off, which is now tight, and wash my hands and wash underneath my ring. So I missed it and I knew that it was in the house. In the cold weather, my ring is loose and like right now, it is snug. So it was definitely loose. I looked everywhere for it. I'm not kidding you. I just knew it was in a pair of jeans, in a pocket. I looked through all the trash. I mean, I knew I lost it in the house. Well, I found it in the month of June and I could not have been more thrilled. And I'll show you what I found it in. My former daughter-in-law had made me this little jar, decorated it and put some color on the inside of it. And anyway, I always have it at my desk and I have my pens and I have my erasable pens. And also in the bottom, I have paper clips. Well, I was looking for something and I took these out and I looked down in it and my ring was in the bottom. And I was absolutely thrilled to death to find it. In the meantime, I'd been wearing, I had purchased a set of um, four stainless steel rings and I had been wearing the gold one because I just couldn't stand, I think I ordered this the first part of January. I just couldn't stand not to have this on my finger. When we got married, it fit on this finger and then I lost some weight so I just always wear it here. So if you guys ever lose a wedding band and you need one, these uh, stainless steel rings from Amazon are good. And I have found that, you know, I have a metal allergy, but I can wear the stainless steel around my finger. I can wear the stainless steel on top of my wrist, but I can't wear it next on this side of my wrist. So I always put fingernail polish on the clasp and um, take it off and put a new coat on every week. So that's why sometimes you see my watch on this arm and sometimes on this arm, I have to rotate it. I did go to my sister's home a couple of times and she came here for our regular Wednesday coffee get together and I was thrilled. So we're back to doing that and I couldn't I couldn't be more happy. Ha I couldn't be more happy. It just makes everything seem more normal. So that was definitely a blessing in the month of June. My handbag or purse has not been out of the house since well before the the pandemic. And I was looking for something in it and I found like three or four tubes of lip gloss I forgot I had so that was a good one any anytime I go anywhere I make sure that I have pockets in my pants or a pocket in my shirt because I just put my key in there I don't need a key to start my car I just have to have it on me I take my cell phone case that I've been in love with for years and when I go into a store I just take out my debit card I put this underneath my seat I go in and so I don't have to worry about germs getting on my cell phone case. So I, I, all, all I have on me when I go in the store is the key so I can unlock my car. One of Carol, the old Carol shows masks and my debit card. So uh, these are really wonderful. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but these wash up so well and they're so comfortable and they're so much more comfortable than paper masks. And in the state of Illinois, masks are going to be required for some time. Of course, I was thrilled to death to get my hair cut and get my roots touched up. I used to do my own roots for years, and when I got my hair cut really short, she started doing it, so I, 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 I never enjoyed doing it at all. I, it, I would put it off and put it off and put it off. It was just one of those things that my slacker ways didn't like, so I was glad to have that done. There's something else I'm so appreciative of, and it is my skillet and my cookware. I bought this 49 years ago, and it is in perfect condition. I don't even know if they make them anymore, but this is luster craft. You know, back in the day when you graduated from high school, a lot of people had hope chests. I graduated in 1971. I was 17 years old, 
and I was working at the bank and this man came to the house trying to sell me cookware. Well, I had never cooked a meal in my life. My mother, that was her kitchen. I have two older sisters. She didn't want us in there helping her with the cooking. She didn't want us doing the dishes. That was her domain. So I didn't know anything about cooking, but I was so impressed with this huge cookware set. And my mom would say, now Mimi, I don't know that you really need that. And every time she'd say that, the salesman would throw in something for her. So I'm not kidding you, we got a ton of stuff and I got some luster craft and in 49 years, it is still going strong. And it was called waterless cookware and it is. It, it just is really good. I don't think you can beat stainless steel cookware for me, iron, cast iron skillets and glass, those are my favorite things to cook. And we've been doing a lot of cooking and not going out, which is something we both really have missed, but, but you know, that's okay. I really haven't been into buying makeup. There's just not been many things that I'm interested in. What I'm interested in are just things that make my life easier that, and really things that I need. And something I needed was, or really, really we needed this, was a new two-step ladder that had something to hold on to. And I'll put a picture of it up here or here. It probably took me a couple of weeks to order it because I went everywhere, looked at reviews, read reviews, and ordered this. And I will tell you, it is better than I thought it would be. And, and I like that there's something to hold on to. Not that I'm getting old or anything, but I know that one of these days, that will be very helpful. I can grab onto something that I was very pleased with that. I replenished my stock of superhero mascara. I have six tubes. A viewer of mine, and I forgot I'm gonna put her name up here if I can find it. Uh, let me know in the comments section that QVC had them like six tubes for $56.50. I contacted IT Cosmetics to see how long this shelf life, and the shelf life is three years from if they're not open. So I know I will be giving some of these away, but I think they also had Mr. Rebates on it. So they ended up costing me with, even with the tax and shipping and handling, just a shade over $10. So I was really happy with that. So that was my big purchase. And anytime I see a special like that, I will put it in the information center. I think right now HSN has them three for 30 some dollars, but I've never paid $24 for a tube or 26 or whatever it is. I'll, I'll use something else before I'll pay that much. Now you know I will pay more for lipstick and that's another one of my favorites. That's where I will pay, I will spend more money on lipstick than anything else. And today I'm wearing the one by IT Cosmetics. It's called something Pillow Lips and it's packaged like this. And here's a color and I've really about worn it down because I always have something on my lips. This is what I expect from a lipstick. I put it on bare lips with no balm underneath, no lip liner, no gloss over it, but it is so comfortable. And I, and I think it does make your lips look better. And I just love the way they feel. So that was a favorite. Even though I, had, I have two of these, this wish list was my favorite. A huge favorite for me during the month of June was my friend, Mary Glissy Fritzy she did a brand deal with Sigma brushes. And she was able to pick out brushes that she loved that were her go-to brushes. And I'm gonna link her video below. I'm not gonna put a link to her brushes. They sold out. But I want you to watch her video if you can. I love Mary. We have been friends for over five years. We've met in person. She is so, so smart and she's so funny and she has a heart of gold. And for a somebody over the age of 50 to get a brand deal with a company is amazing. It helps every one of the YouTube creators that are 50 and older, you know? I mean, that is, that's the first brand deal that I've known of from anybody. I'm sure there's somebody else, but I don't know them, but I could not have been happier for Mary. And I haven't received my brushes yet, but I will be showing them to you when I do. And I might even do a get ready with me. She does an excellent job explaining why she chose the brushes. And she, in fact, in her video, she demonstrated it. And she's talked about Sigma since the very first time I watched her. I was absolutely 
thrilled for her. Now I want to talk about something I've purchased four different times that I've never talked about on here. And I first heard about them from Monica, from Monica. It used to be Monica McGillicuddy. I can't remember, but I will link her video below. She talked about built bars and she really, really liked them. And they were high protein, low carb, and they used the sweetener erythritol. Well, back in October, I used her code. She had a $10 off code and I ordered my first box and I really really liked them. The bars range anywhere from 110 calories to 190 calories. I think they're usually between 15 and 20 grams of protein and most of them have about five net carbs. And you know I try to eat moderate low carb but every once in a while you want something sweet and and delicious and they really are delicious and I, I, not every flavor is delicious I'm going to show you one that I thought was not delicious but I want to show you the actual size of the bar this was the lemon blueberry and it's there it is I mean that is a good size bar I'm going to twist it open for you and show you that it is kind of like a nougat inside this one isn't my favorite for me lemon is the hardest flavor to duplicate because if they don't watch it 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 reminds me of pledge lemon pledge and this kind of had that wang but i've purchased well i purchased four times the peanut butter banana the they come packaged like this the salted caramel chocolates and that's how we say it around here caramel is one of my favorites i probably had one about every other day and then i ran out and I didn't really think that much of it. And then I got an email and they had a sale. So that's why I placed several orders. Well, on my last order, they sent me a little code that if I shared the code, I would earn credit on bars. So I contacted the company and I said, is there any way you could give me a discount code for my viewers if anybody else wants to try them? And they said they would. When I looked this morning, they were all, all sold out but I will try to remember to put that link below any video. I think they're definitely worth a try. And I think the discount is $10 off a box. They also have Mr. Rebates and Rakuten that used to be Ebates. So I always like that. So it really does make the cost of the bar quite a bit more. I think my average price is $1.67 per bar. And for me, that's worth it because it keeps me from eating something else that I shouldn't have. So, you know, this is a processed food. I'm not 100% clean on anything, you know that, but it's definitely worth a, a treat and it does satisfy my sweet tooth. I know it's made of whey protein and I know it has erythritol, but it, it all the ingredients in the bar I was familiar with. So you can look at their nutrition information if you're interested. The next favorite thing I'm going to talk about, I bought last October or November, and I bought, bought them based on somebody who entered something underneath a comment I left on a channel. And for, I can't remember what channel I was watching, but it was something to do with clothing. Because I asked the question, I do like a little bit of a shoulder pad. I have narrow shoulders. A lot of times when I buy clothing, I have to go up a side, size for my bust and my shoulders kind of drop and kind of droop. So this very nice lady left a comment. I think I asked the question, where can you buy good shoulder pads? Because there used to be quite a few and they're just not available anymore. You know, ones that were sturdy, ones that would hold up with washing, ones that didn't slip on your bra. And so this woman told me to look at these. She, she said the name and I can't remember what it was, but she they were adhesive bra caps and I'll show you what they look like and you use them in place of shoulder pads and I have a pair on now this is I ordered it in the cup size and this is a C and I'll, I'll I'm gonna do a picture put it side by side so you can see the difference I have never tried them as a bra but they these this was this is the one that's a D cup and I cut it across here because if I wanted to wear something that had like a boat neck that it would still work I just keep the paper on them and I'll just put it on top of my shoulder and they're sticky but they don't nothing attaches to your skin it stays in place but it doesn't leave a sticky residue and I just put it over my shoulder like that and it will stay all day long 
and I'm, I'm just so happy to have them. So if any of you out there need a little shoulder pad that you want that's comfortable, that will stay, I tell you what, they're good ones. And since I'm talking about shoulder pads and bra pads, I just want to talk about underwear, and I'm not going to show you my underwear. But you know, men do not have the problems we do. You know, like when I wear jeans, I don't want to wear any slick underwear because I don't want my jeans to come down. When I wear dress pants, I don't want to wear anything that is kind of like too cottony because the pants will they'll kind of cling to you. So for years, I've been buying a certain brand of underwear for my everyday use, and the brand name is Cacique, and it's only for, I think, I think the smallest size is a 12, but what I like about it, the underwear, they don't give you any control, but they're like 93% cotton and 7% spandex, and it's just that perfect type of fabric that I can wear with jeans, and my jeans don't, don't slip down. I can wear it with dress pants or a dress, and nothing sticks to it. I think you know what I'm talking about. And they always have a sale. Anytime I've ever purchased them, I have purchased them. You buy one, get one free. Buy two, get two free. You know, they're always 50% off. I think where I, where I ordered them from was Lane Bryant, and they did have Ebates and Rakuten, so I was really happy about that. And I've shared before with you what I do with my other underwear. Once I get new underwear and, you know, I'm not like, I'm done with wearing these, I fold them up, I put them in a certain drawer, I take them with me when I travel, and I throw them away as I go. I always take the dollar store yellow sacks, that, you know, that you get at the dollar store. They're very, they're not good for anything else. And I put some in my, where I keep my underwear, and I just throw it away. So that makes me very happy. And something else that I am just thrilled with Jim and I say a prayer every day, and there was one prayer that my mother said. And she had found a prayer that she loved in a newspaper, and she read it every single day, and I typed it out for her. And I know she died when she was 89, so I know this was prior to, she probably quit traveling a lot when she was 82, because on the side she has Hampton Inn written on a uh, <laughs> on the border. But I typed this and I stapled it to a piece of cardboard so she could read it every day and I made it in larger font. So I had temporarily misplaced this and I found this and Jim and I, we take turns reading it every morning. One, I'll read one day and he reads the other. And I will put a link to the prayer below. And the name of it is A Prayer for Today and that the author is unknown. But it was just something my mom was fond of, and we're fond of it too. And if you're still watching, this is going to be a giveaway. Yes, it is. I, I want to give back to you. You know I do. So today I'm going to give away two $50 e-gift cards or two $50, well, however you want it. If you want a, it in your PayPal, if you want a gift card somewhere, I, I just want it to be an e-gift card because I don't want to take any chances mailing things, you know, like a gift card. And I've had really good luck getting the gift cards to you the day you claim your prize, and I love that. So to be in my giveaways, all you have to do is be 18 years old or older, so be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live, and just tell me something that gave you peace this month in the comment section. Just anybody that uses the word peace and something that brought you peace, you will be in my giveaway. And I only keep these open for three days. And because this is a giveaway, I will not be able to reply to comments on this video. But any video that I have put up prior to this, I can, I'll be really glad to answer any of your questions. And, uh, and you know that. And I will announce the winner the next time I upload a video. It is all good. Thank you so much for watching, sharing your input with me. I, I appreciate you. Like I've said all the time, I can't think of better words. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. And um, thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. So I contacted QVC to see. No, I contacted. No, I didn't. It was loose in the in the... Jim told me that I, it, my, like, I need to know, after I take a bath, I need to know, and 